Hey, this is Al from Tilton's Heritage Pastures. We did a video not too long ago about the slap shot. When we did that video, we were out in the field with the pigs and we went over a brief description of what the, the slap shot was and, and how we use it. Uh, we've since gotten a lot of questions about how the slap shot works, the pros and the cons, how we use it, what we do. So I'm going to make this video a little bit more detailed and actually go through and, and show you an injection. So some of the things that I have here, I actually have a, a dosing syringe. Uh, you can buy that at your local ag store. And with that, you're able to give uh, multiple similar doses. So what I mean by that is uh, we're able to set, let's say we need a, a two, two cc shot, which is what we'll set it on. So now I can load that with say 10 cc's or 20 cc's, however many doses that I need to administer on more than one individual animal. And I can just repeat those doses and, and be precise and quick and efficient in the field. So that's that's one tool we use. Another, um, which is something that, that you might have purchased from your ag store, is a standard uh, 12 milliliter needle. Syringe, I should say, not needle. So on that syringe comes a on that needle come on that syringe comes a lure lock needle so lure lock is just a standard uh, locking system on most needles uh, i don't really know if there are any other needles besides the lure lock but that's the the most common and that's that's usually what you'll be able to purchase at your ag store so now this syringe uses a lure lock this syringe uses a little lock. And even this smaller 10 milliliter also uses a little lock needle. Now, with needles, you can get multiple different size needles. This is a one inch 16 gauge needle. Um, and so they'll come sealed and encapsulated. The 16 gauge needle is fairly large. When you give that injection, the animal is most definitely going to feel that. Um, that would be for a much larger animal. And whatever you're administering a much higher dosage. So it allows that, that dose to come through that needle uh, faster. Um, it's also a more sturdy needle, which some animals will be much thicker skin than, than others. So that's a 16 gauge needle. We also use a 22 gauge needle, and that's another one inch needle. And again, they come sealed and sterilized. And so you can see that's a much finer, thinner needle. And when you're given smaller doses, uh, that works really well. Okay, so we have several different needles that we can use. And we get into our slap shot. So our slap shot has that lure lock on the end, which can attach to each one of the syringes. So, uh, the slap shot has that lure lock that attaches to each one of the needles, or syringes I should say. So, as you can see, depending on my needs, I can actually attach that. So that's on that 12 milliliter. We're going to put it today on the 10 milliliter. Now, 
one of the questions that we had was um, waste and concern of getting air inside the, the system. So those are two valid concerns. So I'm going to I'm going to so I'm going to apply 16 gauge needle onto a 10 milliliter syringe and so I've actually just got this is not medication it's just white liquid so that you can see it inside the syringe and as we use it So traditionally, this is what we would do. We would load that syringe. We'd make sure there's no air inside that needle. Of course, if we have a medication that's in a vial with a rubber stopper and we need to take that needle, we can attach that needle directly to the syringe and of course, draw the medication out of that. So now, if we know our dosage you can always preload the syringe and I've put eight milliliters inside that syringe I can remove that needle of course putting the cap on to be safe can apply the slap shot lock the needle onto the slap shot load the slap shot just as I was loading a needle and you can see because I've used that white liquid that the slap shot is filled. There is no air inside the syringe. There's no air inside the slap shot. And there is no air inside that needle. And so now, we had that slap shot between our fingers. We were going to administer the shot. We can keep the syringe over here in this hand. Slap the needle in. And administer the injection. Very simple. So now we are going to have medication left over inside the slap shop. There's approximately two milliliters or two cc's that will be left inside that slap shop. Depending on the medication, you can decide what to do with that. In most cases, we'll just take that and discard it. after we've done all of our doses we'll safely remove the syringe discard that you know, medical biohazard we'll take the slap shot clean it with hot soapy water dry it out and have it prepared for the next use it is reusable um, just like your syringes I'm going to
I'm going to repeat that process. I'm going to use the dosing syringe. So I've attached the needle to the dosing syringe. So now I've filled that dosing syringe as if I was going to administer 10 2 milliliter shots. So I've removed the air. I've put some extra inside the syringe. I'm going to put the slap shot on the lure lock. I'm going to take the lure lock needle and I'm going to apply it to the end of the slap shot. Now I'm going to load the slap shot. So now I've got all the air removed out of the slap shot. And if I have that slap shot in my hand, you can see the actual line is in my hand. The red paddle is between my fingers. The syringe is facing down. I can hit it hit my dose. So now, if I had another animal to do, hit it, hit my dose, makes life very easy. So that's the slap shot in a little bit more detail. I know a lot of you have gone out and purchased one, and I hope it makes your life easier too. Thanks for watching.